The ritual called for me to abandon the little amount of humanity I had left before becoming a human once again. I needed to devour the flesh of a person. And so I did. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Graphics, and tonight I am joined with... What up, guys? It's your boy Jester. Okay, so the other day, Jesse actually came home and saw that all of the windows were boarded up and was wondering exactly what was going on. So I let him know everything that was going on with me and how I was attacked by a scarecrow from the Book of Shadows. Now, instead of being shocked, Instead of being surprised, and instead of even being afraid, this man comes up to me and says, I want to read from the book. So guys, that is exactly what is going to happen tonight. Jester is going to be reading from the Book of Shadows tonight at 3 a.m. Now before we get into this crazy challenge, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to turn those post notifications on because I'm posting three times a week and you guys definitely do not want to miss out on these videos as well as don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you guys are updated on what I'm doing outside of 3 a.m. and without any further ado guys let's see what the book of shadows has in store for us tonight okay so as you guys can see it is 3 15 in the morning which means we are currently in the devil's hour and for those who do not know what the devil's hour is it is the time where anything spiritual demonic or paranormal is always gonna be at its maximum maximum potential so my boy jesse actually picked out a story himself yep it, it, it seems pretty interesting i will say the title is the ghoul I never would have thought things would turn out like this. And in a way, I guess I ended up getting exactly what I wanted. I just don't know if I could even be considered human anymore. I'm an oncologist, which means I study and treat cancer patients. I work at the largest hospital in my city. And for the most part, I love my job. I get a lot of patients coming and going, but None of them has caught my eye as much as this old man who always carries around with him this old, odd-looking book. I don't know why I was so obsessed with that book. I would completely tunnel vision on that book every single time he walked in my office. I wanted it. Eventually, that man passed away, and when he did, I took that book. I was amazed when I took that first look inside. Endless amounts of craziest stories. But what really caught my eye were the spells and the rituals. Weeks passed and my curiosity never drove me to recreate any of those rituals, especially after reading the stories I found in that book. Then everything changed. Stage four pancreatic cancer, of all the things. I'm well beyond the point of being cured. I know this. The doctor treating me knows this as well, but he still runs through my options. Slowly, his voice fades out as I begin to recall every single ritual and spell I read in that damn book. I only remember saying one thing. After I was told I have just a handful of months before I die, I want to live. I quit my job that day and never went back to that hospital. I had to move fast, but I also had to make sure I knew what I was doing. These poor people tortured by this book. But being a doctor, I realized one thing that everybody got wrong, a lack of knowledge. I keep telling myself that I'm a doctor. I can make it, make it work. Oh, damn. Bro. Bro. Dude, is that somebody at the door? This late? There's no way. What? That literally doesn't make any sense. Bro, I don't know, dude. Yo. Oh, it's not me. He's trying to get in, dude. Stop. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Okay, the door's locked. He, he can't get in. No, no, he can't get in. Okay, yo, let's go around, go around. Do you see him, bro? Oh! Bro, who the hell is that? I don't know. I don't know. Did we hide? Did we hide? Bro? Wait. Dude. Yo. He's not there anymore. He's not there anymore, bro. bro no, 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 he's not, he's actually gone. I, I want this, bro. Do you think that was him, man? Do you think that was him? Who else has a, a doctor gown like that? I don't know, but his face was all like mutilated at that. What I, happened? It doesn't say that in the book, but I, I don't know, bro. We, we have to get to the reading. Okay, 
I'll go get the book. I uh, will go and read here just so we could watch the door, okay? Okay, guys, that was very, very strange. Something just came to our door, and I don't know if that was the ghoul doctor or not. It seems like it, but I don't know what the hell is going on with his face. So Jesse just went to grab the book, and we're going to continue reading it and see exactly what's going on here. Okay, Jesse, are you ready to finish this? Yeah. yeah. I spent the next few weeks testing three spells. A rejuvenation serum, a necrosis ritual, and, and a, a vitality potion. I tested them on rats and even my own blood to see how it worked and various side effects. I'm not proud of the things I did that week. Eventually, I managed to stitch them all together to make a massive ritual, each covering each other's side effects. It was perfect. This should make me immortal. And then, I finally did it. I'll never forget that night. That was the most painful night of my life. Intense inner pains and constant vomiting of blood, I knew right away, if I survived this night, I would live forever. And then the next morning, I woke up. No pain, actually. I felt nothing. It was strange. I began to clean up the mess from the ritual when I noticed that, that my foot was actually bleeding but I didn't feel a thing. Broken glass was lodged into my foot from the ritual. Can I not only be immortal, but also feel no pain? I ran into the kitchen, grabbed the knife from the counter, and without hesitation, I stabbed my own hand. I didn't even flinch. I felt invincible. Days passed and it didn't even occur to me that I wasn't getting hungry. When it suddenly hit me, it hit hard. I was starving. I went into the fridge and grabbed a raw piece of chicken breast. My mouth was watering at the sight. But as I cooked the meat, it looked less and less appealing. When I got to eating it, I tasted nothing. I tried to force myself to eat such a disgusting thing, but I couldn't stop my body from gagging. I go back to the fridge to find something else to eat, and there it was, another piece of raw meat. There's no way this looks more appetizing. I tried to resist, but eventually I decided to eat it raw and it was delicious. I honestly thought I lost a piece of my humanity that night, not knowing that it was about to get infinity. Did you heard that, right? Was that, what was that? It was at the back door. What the hell? It's the back door.
Look, if I hear him come out, I'll let you know, okay? Days pass and my skin began to lose its color. The cuts on my foot never healed well and some of the cuts on my body from previous incidents began to open again and, and bleed. What was I becoming? I turned to the book for answers and it felt as if the book was talking to me when I read from its pages. I would hear a voice read along with me. The voice ensured me that things would be okay as long as I listened to its instructions. I turned the page and found one last ritual that I've never seen before. I needed supplies. When I left the house, I was forced to wear a hoodie. Scars riddled my face and I was scared. I was no longer able to recognize who I was when I looked in the mirror. The ritual called for me to abandon the little amount of humanity I had left before becoming a human once again. I needed to devour the flesh of a person. And so I did. I never wanted things to turn out the way they did. I just wanted to live. Why did it have to be my life that was cut short like this? There had to be a reason why I found this book and why all this is happening to me, right? I came home that night in tears and once again the book ensured me that everything was going to be fine. I had officially abandoned my humanity and on that night, I became a ghoul. The ritual took weeks to prepare and time and time again, I set off into the night looking for more prey to satisfy my starvation that had grew more and more until the day had finally come for me to become human again. The ritual, the ritual is ready. Is ready. <laughs> Destroy my room, what the heck? Everywhere, bro. Hey, wait, what is that? What? The hell? A, is that a note? Yeah, it is. Yo, Jesse, what does it say? Bro, there's what? a phone on it. It says he wants his book back. The book? The book. He wants the book. Bro, what the hell? That's not good. Yo, we can't let him get that back. No, I know. Okay, guys. This was actually insane. My room is completely destroyed. So this is where I am ending the video. The story never left off with him completing the final ritual. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think happened. Also, let me know if you guys want to see me try to call this mysterious number that he left for us because I personally would really like to know what exactly happened at the end of the story. If you guys enjoyed this thing, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, peace.